I can't lie, I used to be a big foxtail coffee denier, but the pumpkin spice cold brew has really grown on me these past weeks. So let me know down below, are you still Starbucks or team foxtail? All right, so the most viewed video on my channel is moving to Lake Nona, and that was four months ago, and I thought to myself, there is a lot that has changed in this area since then. So for today's video, we're gonna walk around, talk about what's changing, what's coming, what rumors are cleared up, what's progressing, what's not progressing, and everything in between as it pertains to my favorite area in all of Central Florida. All right, so what's changed? Well, starting with the LNPC, the Lake Nona Performance Club. Now, when I talked about that in my initial video, that was really just in its beginning stages. Now it's fully complete, and to call it a gym would sort of be an understatement. It's really like a first-class health and wellness center. It is absolutely amazing. We have traditional gyms all over Orlando. We have CF Fitness, LA Fitness, Crunch Fitness, but there's really nothing as all-encompassing as LNPC, and I think that's gonna be a really great thing to have right in the heart of Lake Nona. So right beside LMPC is the Lake Nona Wave Hotel. That's supposed to be the crown jewel of the Lake Nona Town Center. It's gonna be 234 keys opening in December, providing this kind of high-tech luxury experience that Lake Nona is kind of getting known for. But what's really cool about that hotel is that's gonna have two signature restaurants. You have the Bacan, hope I'm saying that right, and Haven's Kitchen. Now the designs for these places look really nice, kind of vibrant colors, open kitchen concept. And I think it's, it's gonna be a really good culinary experience. And if the food tastes as good as how it looks i can't wait to go try it out myself i think it's going to be a pretty big date night spot but apart from that you're going to have those two signature restaurants coming up next month in lake nona Now the hook to my initial video was that Disney might possibly relocate some of their employees from California to Lake Nona. That is now no longer a rumor, that is a confirmed thing. They are building a regional campus right here in the heart of Lake Nona. You're talking 1.8 million square feet of office space, investing hundreds of millions of dollars into the area. Initially bringing about 2,000 employees, high wage earning employees from California to Lake Nona. And that's something I always thought that Tavistock did very well is that they focused more on bringing in high paying jobs first. So you have like Medical City, K BMG Lead, which is a company you don't really hear a lot about, but they're investing in health and wellness tech startups. You have Simcom Aviation. They train pilots all over the country. More and more and more are these high paying jobs, which really make places like the Lake Nona Performance Club possible. And it makes sense because Lake Nona residents can take advantage and enjoy some of these more high end amenities given the median income, whereas in other areas, it might not make as much sense. So I think Tavistock really is slowly achieving what it set out to achieve with Lake Nona, which is the embodiment of the live, play, and work lifestyle. All right, so while I'm sitting in one of the mini parks in Laurier Park, let's start to talk about some of the residential developments going on versus four months ago. Now one, Laurier Park two is starting to release some lots. Dreamfinders and Craft have released a couple lots last week and they are planning to release some this weekend of this video. So that is probably Saturday, Sunday, but it's really cool to see. I know initially they were kind of going back and forth to whether they were gonna release early next year or late this year, but they are releasing now a limited amount. They are doing highest and best. I'm not sure if that trend will carry over to the rest of the development. They will probably kind of phase that out as the demand dies down, but it's really hard for demand to die down for Laurier Park because it's in such a good location. And I know a lot of people have a concern about the airport noise, so let's talk about that. So what you're seeing right now is a DNL chart. Now the DNL stands for day night sound average level. Now that is something established by the FAA. And basically what it states is that the threshold for what's incompatible with a residential community would be 65. And as you can see, places like Laurier Park, they're well below 65. I mean, you can see the planes, but you can barely hear them. And I think that really bodes great for functionality because you're like, five minutes to the airport but it doesn't affect you being five minutes to the airport and i think a lot of people have that concern but it really is not that big of a deal when you start to look at sound levels in proportion to where you're located now if you're in the lake nona town center you know this you hear it a lot more than if you're in laurier park and that's because a 65 dnl is right around the town center and that's why it's a town center and not laurier park and i think that's something very well thought out by tavistock the highly anticipated toll brothers community laurel point has also started releasing some lots as well they're doing the same thing as dreamfinders 
most highest and best, which is to be expected because it is probably one of your only options to get new gated and luxury in 32827. They're my personal favorite production builder here in Orlando. All their communities have been a success from bigger communities like Lakeshore and Horizon West to more intimate high-end communities like Casabella in Windermere. I think this one's gonna be a really great success. Now, initially I thought it was gonna be kind of like Casabella within that one to $2 million range and I had a chat with them. They were thinking 650 onwards. Now, if you look on the website, they're saying home prices expected to start between 800s and a million. So I think to be safe to stay within that one to $2 million range, but still gonna be a very solid opportunity to have a gated community, a luxury community right in the heart of Lake Nona. Now you still have all the other options like Summerdale Park by Dreamfinders and Craft, Pulte Building Owls of Lake Nona, Jones Homes in Eagle Creek, but just to compare the prices now compared to the early stages of those developments is actually insane. And I always tell people like, if you're decided on the community and by and large the area, jump in on that new construction community as early as you can because there is an opportunity cost associated with waiting. Now I definitely don't say that to rush you into a decision. By all means, take as long as you need, but why pay five, 10, 20, sometimes even 40, thousand dollars more for the exact same floor plan months later in a market that's currently experiencing rising interest rates so when you're thinking about moving to an area as highly desirable as lake nona please make sure to factor that into your decision making there's so much more things I could talk about, but I'm running out of time. So look, if you are looking to buy in Lake Nona, I'd love to be your realtor of choice. Reach out number is going to be 407-906-9282, or you can email me at romarioG at salesorlandofl.com. Last thing, if you enjoy the content, like the content, found value from the content, go ahead and hit that like and absolutely demolish that subscribe button. I'm going to be posting content on here weekly. Make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. I'll have those links below. Be sure to connect with me there. Ask me questions. I repost events throughout the day. Anything that you want to see, go follow me over on instagram go see that thank you guys so much for watching this video hope to see you in the next one but until then stay safe